First of all, we have some big breaking news coming in. Ahmadmi Party Supreme and former Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal has come out in defence of his MLA, Naresh Balian, over the extortion racket claim, saying that Kapil Sangwan was giving threats and extortion calls to MLA Naresh Balian, and he was a victim and not the accused. Arvind Kejriwal there shielding his own MLA, saying that. He was not the accused. Instead, he was receiving several threat calls and uh, coming in open defence of Naresh Balian, who is now in the centre of a storm over allegations of extortion. Let's listen in to what Kejriwal said. Viewers, Naresh Balian, an MLA in the Ahmadmi Party, has is now facing charges of extortion in a 2023 uh, case. And uh, a day after he was implicated in the case, Arun Kejriwal has come out in open support of him, defending and shielding him from the charges that he faced. Let's listen it. उन्हें पता नहीं कि कब किसके साथ क्या हो जाएगा तो पिछले कुछ दिनों से मैंने कई दिन मैं कुछ नहीं बोला मुझे लगा स्थिति सुधर जाएगी और यह एक ऐसा मुद्दा नहीं है जिस पे राजनीति होनी चाहिए लेकिन जब स्थिति बद से बदतर होती जा रही है और खुलेआम दिल्ली के अंदर सड़कों के ऊपर गोलियां चलने लगी हैं ऐसा लगता है कि गैंगस्टर्स ने दिल्ली के ऊपर कब्जा कर लिया है तो मुझसे चुप नहीं रहा गया और मैंने दिल्ली की कानून व्यवस्था के ऊपर लेके कानून व्यवस्था को लेके सवाल खड़े करने चालू किए तो मुझे उम्मीद थी कि मेरे मुद्दे उठाने पे अमित शाह जी कुछ कार्रवाई करेंगे अमित शाह जी बलात्कारियों को पकड़ेंगे अमित शाह जी गैंगस्टर्स को पकड़ेंगे अमित शाह जी पुलिस को बोलेंगे कि इस तरह की घटनाएं अब नहीं होनी चाहिए अमित शाह जी कठोर कदम उठाएंगे ठोस कदम उठाएंगे जिससे दिल्ली वासियों को कुछ सुकून मिलेगा लेकिन इसकी बजाय हमने देखा कि कल मुझ पे हमला करवा दिया गया मैं पदयात्रा में जा रहा था मेरे ऊपर एक लिक्विड फेंका गया वो लिक्विड हार्मलेस था लेकिन वो हार्मफुल भी हो सकता था कल हमारे एक एमएलए को गिरफ्तार कर लिया गया उस एमएलए का कसूर यह था कि वो एमएलए भी इस किस्म के गैंगस्टर्स का विक्टिम था उसके पास भी फिरौती की और अलग-अलग तरह से गैंगस्टर्स की कॉल्स आ रही थी आज से डेढ़ दो साल पहले उसके पास कई सारी कॉल्स आई जिसकी बकायदा उसने लिखित शिकायत दिल्ली पुलिस को की कि मेरे पास कपिल सांगवान और नंदू नाम के गैंगस्टर की बार-बार कॉल्स आ रही हैं मुझे धमकियां मिल रही हैं मेरे परिवार को धमकियां मिल रही हैं मुझे उनसे बचाइए नया एमएलए नरेश बालियान कपिल सांगवान और फनंदो का विक्टिम है वहां से उनको इस तरह की कई धमकियां आई और उन्होंने ये मैंने एक ही चिट्ठी पढ़ी है उन्होंने कई चिट्ठियां दिल्ली पुलिस को लिखी कि इसके ऊपर कार्रवाई की जाए मुझे लगातार धमकी आ रही हैं उस पे कार्रवाई करने की बजाय कल दिल्ली पुलिस ने नरेश बालियान को गिरफ्तार कर लिया कल मेरे ऊपर हमला कराया गया हमारा कसूर क्या था हमारा कसूर था कि हम लोग दिल्ली की बिगड़ती हुई कानून व्यवस्था का की बात उठा रहे थे well, I have Akil joining me live on this broadcast Akil this is a big statement coming in from Arvind Kejriwal who defends uh, Naresh Balian and this after you know Naresh Balian was uh, involved in this case after his audio clip purported audio clip of his conversation with Sangwan also surfaced now Arvind Kejriwal says that it was Sangwan who called uh, Balian threatening him and uh, that Naresh Balian is no accused he's the victim instead 
Well, Deepak, if you see what has happened last evening, that a Delhi Police Crime Branch team has arrested Amani Party MLA from Uttam Nagar Assembly Constituency seat, Naresh Palia. So what has happened, if you see that, ca that case is approximately one year old case uh, in which there was a conversation between Naresh Balyan and Kapil Sangwan, who is a ga well-known gangster in, uh, in the Delhi NCR region. Because if you see, there have been multiple instances where, uh, where extortion uh, racket was, uh, was being run by the people who, who are basically part of, uh, of uh, uh, Mr. Sangwan's gang. So what has happened that if you talk about, uh, uh, there, there were three different incidents in, uh, in Nangloi area and Chol area as well and in Tilaknagar area. So there were three different incidents where, where Naresh Sangwan's uh, uh, gang members have basically taken responsibility for those uh, uh, shooting attacks in the, in the national capital. But what has happened well, today, Mr. Arvind Kejriwal, who is the Ahmadi party chief, he has uh, basically said that his MLA, who is from, uh, uh, from uh, Uttam Nagar constituency MLA, uh, is basically a victim of this incident. He, he has uh, come out in, in front in to defend his MLA at this point in time, and he is saying that uh, all this is a man-made case. And apart from that, if you see what has happened, that he has also uh, claimed that uh, the kind of law and order situation is in Delhi is not appropriate, and uh, Amit Shah, the Union Home Minister, must need to act in, in, in that regard as well. Deepak. Well, Akhil, Kejriwal also spoke about the ink attack and he said that it was, uh, you know, not a serious one, but it could have been serious had it been some other material. And he continues to launch uh, attack on the Union Home Minister saying that, uh, you know, the police work on the directions of Amit Shah and that uh, the law and order is completely in shambles. Take us through those uh, reactions also coming in from the former Chief Minister. Well, Deepak, if you see, uh, Delhi elect Assembly election is around the corner. So now what will happen, that the, the, uh, before elections, with th these kind of comments, so we generally see uh, a, a claim and then counter claim. So uh, now the BJP will also react on it. Uh, very soon we are going to get a statement from Delhi BJP Chief Mr. Vrind Sajdeva. So, so these kind of statements will uh, continue from here on. But what uh, basically what Mr. Arvind K. Jival is trying to say that if you see the law and order situation in Delhi, uh, he basically spoke about uh, Panshil Park area also in that peace press conference and he has said that Panshil Park locality is one of the posh localities in Delhi but the, the kind of situation the, but the kind of law and order situation you see in that area is not so different so, so these are the concerns basically he was raising and he is basically trying to push his case and his MLS case basically in that regard that, that the Delhi NCR region and especially Delhi is basically under the influence of gang war politics because uh, what we have been witnessing that if you talk about uh, November incident because there were three different incidents in the first week of November on November 4th itself uh, in Tilakankar area and Langlo area and so in those incidents there were multiple shooting incidents uh, has, which has happened and due to which uh, it raises several questions on the law and order situation in the national capital. Many thanks for joining me with those details. Well, that's the latest coming in from Arvind Kejriwal. He has mounted attack on the central government while also defending his MLA, who is now embroiled in an extortion case. Let's move on.